Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Ruled Waves as Italy, episode number 7. Um, there's been a good discussion about the, the lack of destroyers. I mean, it's, it's apparent every time I load up this game, I've said it a few times, but our list of ships is so short, and I believe that's partly because we don't have enough light cruisers out. They're all stuck in construction. We've had a few woes about that. Uh, at least our monthly balance right now appears to be okay, so it doesn't look like we're in danger of losing... Um, our funds. It looks like we'll be able to keep all the ships uh, being built for a while. So at least it'll only take another five months or so for our Cagliari to be released. That's still five months. I mean, it's a long time, right? And it's five possible battles that we have to do with only one light cruiser. But as far as destroyers go, if I had even sacrificed one armored cruiser, or if I had reduced, even not have built this last battleship, which I think is, I, I only ordered that one because of the, the at the request of the Prime Minister or whatever. Um, I, sorry. Anyways, if I had somehow saved some of my budget by not building as many other ships as I had, we could have built a lot of destroyers, maybe like 15 of them. And I'm rethinking this as a strategy. It does appear that that would be like the ultimate way. I built a strategic battleship at some point. I think it was with Japan. It's not a con I did it with, um, I streamed a playthrough as Spain where I was just going for battleships and I found that that was pretty effective. Uh, I've now rethought it and the best way to get points strategically is actually to build destroyers, which sounds really weird, but you can build like a 400 ton destroyer or so, maybe 500 ton. I don't know what's the minimum. I've never tried to build a strategic destroyer, but considering their cost, giving them one strategic point is... I think it's three points for a light cruiser, five points for an armored cruiser, and six or eight points for a battleship. I'm already forgetting. Like the numbers, every time I look, it seems like they change. They've been written down somewhere, but it's just I'm looking at the map here, and um, if the ship's rating or whatnot, the various status, effect, um, like the status of the ships, impacts whether they contribute points or not. So you can't just read this and say, okay, three battleships, one destroyer equals 25 points. Uh, that must mean that battleships are eight and the destroyer is one. I think that actually is the case, but for French, it's probably a different story. So now we take the two battleships, which are eight each, that's 16. The like the 13 destroyers themselves are already another 13 points. So that would put them at 29 and we can see they're only at 28 points. So the, it's a, it's not hard. It's not easy to determine the point situation, but it's based on whether ships are rating or not. Now, another thing to mention is I have unrest level high, but no, sorry, let me finish this point about destroyers. I like the fact that the game does give you multiple ways to play the game. A lot of people were commenting about how my lack of destroyers could be biting me in the butt in the very beginning of this war. But I think the last two war uh, battles, the fleet battles, have more than made up for it. One, as soon as we have our ships back, we won't be in danger of being blockaded any longer. We, because of those battles, have taken a commanding victory point lead. And the only thing we really are concerned about is the fact that our unrest level is rising, and the way to combat that will be probably we need to get some raiding done ourselves. We have no ships capable of raiding right now, because I'm not going to send my battleships to raid. Uh, so we'll have to bite the bullet for one turn. Okay, that's weird. I actually was looking at this monthly balance. I thought it was like negative 200 here and 2 million, and now... Maybe this monthly balance is be better a reflection of how your previous um, month went? I don't know. Anyway, we have an enemy coastal raid, which I hate. It's a large battle size, which means it. I just don't want to track them down. And I'm not going to. Um, so the armored cruiser has been interned in a neutral port. That's very convenient for us. Okay, I need to read those messages. I need to skim them at least a little bit more carefully. So we have our ships back. This should be like the, the opportunity for us to pull ahead. They have here, now, there's two ways we can go about this. Now that we have the point lead and we have to watch out for Austria-Hungary because, and, and I hate this every time I hate it, losing or bringing them into the war will reset our victory points because we're ahead. It doesn't reset them if you're behind. If um, it doesn't make sense, I really that's one of the things I dislike. It's such an easy fix, 
But if you're ahead in victory points, you get every all the victory points reset. And if you're not, then, um, well, you, you continue to lose. It doesn't make sense at all. I mean, somebody said one time, well, it does make sense because when you bring in a new person, it's a fresh start. But it just should work both ways, right? Um, so for example, Austria-Hungary comes in. If we're already beating France, that it doesn't. France doesn't stop getting beat by the fact that Austria-Hungary is now in the war. We're still winning the war. We just have to fight a new war. But the everything should scale up. So although we're at let's say a three thousand victory point lead, that should mean half as much because there's two nations involved. I don't know if that made sense, but that's my own take on it. All right, well, we haven't gotten much into the game. Let's see. They have an armor cruiser, two light cruisers, eleven points here. They have 30 points here. I'm thinking there's two ways of moving forward for us to force the French government to capitulate. We can either try to steal colonies here, in which case I don't care how we win the war. We've already ga gained a big economic bonus. Or if we want to try to actually get them to be overthrown, complete destruction of the French, we need to blockade them. And I don't think we can do that yet. We probably need to win one more fight, one more big fight to do that. So I think we're going to set my fair ship to raid just to start getting uh, a few raiding points. We need to start putting pressure on the French. They're obviously raiding with ships and we have to counter that. I could put both ships. I mean, we are in the Mediterranean. It shouldn't hurt my ships at all to be... But wait, they have 11 points. How much is an armored cruiser worth? I don't know. If it's worth 5 points... Okay, let's do the math. Is an armored cru is an uh, armed merchant AMC armed merchant cruiser right? Is that worth a point? It seems like armored cruisers are worth. F no, that doesn't make sense. Oh yeah, yeah. One ar an armored cruiser is worth five points, and light cruisers are worth three points. That puts them at eleven. So if I move my two armor cruisers in, which just 10 to 11, we don't blockade them. Okay, so it doesn't we, it doesn't make sense to move there yet. Yeah. Let's see next turn. Oh, we have to halt ships. Yeah, that's right. That's so weird. I thought I was going to be able to continue. In fact, we aren't. Let's halt two ships. That keeps us positive. It did. Hooray. Okay, we sank three. They sank one. It's a cruiser battle. I'm going to accept this because if it is actually a cruiser battle, I feel like we can win. Ah! Yeah. Okay, it gave me it redeemed me. Okay, it is just the Quirchi Reality. I would prefer to fight with my armored cruisers. Obviously, those are the superior ships of the all the cruisers. But if it's a one-on-one -on -one light cruiser engagement, I like these. We haven't fought these in such a long time. Squad Max, we want to move to the east of them because the wind. And what are you? If you're an armored cruiser, I will be upset, but you are not. Okay, it's a Forbin class, I believe. These are four inch guns. Yeah, so let's move right in on them. In fact, I have the one knot speed on them. They're 21 knots, I believe. So we should actually be able to close with them too. Might have to do it this way. It does not look like we're closing with them. Are they moving faster than they're supposed to be able to? I mean, I'm really not seeing... Okay, there, it doesn't matter. Now it's turning into a fight regardless. Oh, it's all clear now. They brought an armored cruiser in again. Where are our armored cruisers? For the love of God, this is just a... <laughs> come on, it's ridiculous. Now, it is historical. It's not that any nation wants to have an even fight uh, you always want to bring in more guns than the other person if they have an armored cruiser you want to bring in a battleship and that's what's happening here they have an armored cruiser to my light cruisers and they have light cruisers to my destroyers so it's very historical but i don't think it's necessarily fun <laughs> so hopefully we can get a better fight in the future Okay, so fair enough. We'll just cruise out of here. It doesn't matter. Very silly. Taking weather damage? Like, what in God's name? I, I don't even know what that means. All 
I, I don't understand, but I, I'm just going to hope it doesn't mean anything. Wait, what's going on? Oh. Oh. Well, that's their light cruiser, though. So I'm okay to pursue that. But it's probably followed closely by the armored cruiser. I'll pursue anyway. Why not? Okay, whatever. Go back down to cruise. Go up this way. Wait for this battle to end. Unfortunate. These battles are a little bit unfortunate. I do hope this is redundant in World Waves 2. It's fine. I mean, this is a normal engagement. If we were role-playing a little bit more, um, I would say that I need to take more of a role-playing spear with this too. It's a little bit on, on me. This could happen. You have a light cruiser who goes out, who prods, and oh, it's an armored cruiser. Let's get out of here. The thing I don't like is that we haven't had any... Like, it's a random generation, right? We know it's a game, and the engagements are randomly generated somehow. And the luck has not gone our way at all. We haven't had an engagement where we had the superior force. And when we do, it's important that I point that out, because it's uh, that's when the... It's easy to just observe only the points when you are not doing well. I mean, when luck is not going your way. Okay, so I think we don't have anything else to do but push on, but I... Yeah, I guess it, to do our due diligence, we should check to see how the points that you need. Uh, I talked about how we're block we aren't able to blockade here and we're raiding here. The idea is if we blockade, that's great. And okay, they only have one light cruiser there. We're moving in. Get your butt over there. I think we'll send our Etna. You know what? Let's send both. No, actually, if we're going to send only one, it would only be the Splato. Okay, let's only send the Splato. And let's keep the... I have to do this stupid thing. Which one are you? Wait. Etna. I'm just going to cancel both movement orders because I don't remember which one. Now, I want to only move you. Okay, so you move to Northern Europe. Okay, good. That's what I want. I do want this situation, but you actually have to go to Active Fleet to do that. But raiding also takes off Active Fleet. I don't know. Yeah, let's just move both. Let's let's just go with it. I'm okay with moving both. So we should blockade them, and that's going to be very effective. We aren't going to be raiding, but, you know, that's completely okay. If we blockade them, mission accomplished anyway. All right, and we still have enough points here that we should be stopping their blockade of us. Yep. It should be 10 points we lose. So it's 41 to 39, we're not below them. Um, and if they have to, they have to, in order to move any ships back, they're gonna lose points here anyway. So the two ways we can win um, are economically by invading colonies or by blockading them and forcing their government to collapse. Those are the two ways I, I want to gain a big advantage out of this war. This is the Colbert, we already know about it. We'd like to fight it again, but okay. French Raider sank one of our ships, another one of our ships. It's a coastal raid here. I will accept this because it has to be an armored cruiser engagement. It can only be an armored cruiser engagement. It is our Etna, the superior crew quality one. Fantastic. Our mission is just to sink any one ship, so I guess this is a raid. I didn't really see what the... Yeah, we're given control right away, so... Just move over and see if we can find something. Okay, I'm gonna slow down because, oh, that's, I don't care about that. That's not what I want. I don't wanna, I wanna sink a real ship, not an 11 inch battery. Uh, I'll keep patrolling. Okay, there's something. Okay, there's at least one ship we can sink. Okay, hold fire. Hold fire 10 minutes should be enough to get out of the way. Good. That one's gone. Now let's go. Uh, that's the same ship, I think. Yep. 
Okay, let's, oh, we can maybe go up the coast. I don't know where their ships are going to be, but, well, if we had any success, that's the same damn ship. Surprising that it, it fine. okay, it's finally gone. Should have more success up here then along the coast, maybe? No, no success. We're going to run out of time soon. At least we sank one ship. This is not the way I was hoping this would go. Come on, find something. No, nothing. So there was an armored cruiser out there somewhere, but I wasn't able to locate it. Where was she? Maybe if we had kept going the way, uh, would we have wanted to engage her? That would have been a really nice ship to sink. Absolutely, we would have. Okay, so it's a win, but it's a pathetic one. And Okay, let's see what happens. We did gain block blockade points. Perfect. That's really good. We only have two more months before we get one of our ships out. Thank goodness. But holy cow, why are we losing budget so quickly? I, ay ay ay. It's probably due to repair stuff. Maybe that was what caused our monthly balance to drop so much on that first time we were repairing ships. We don't have any ships to repair this time, and it looks like they had not only dropped to good, which is fine. We'll wait one more month before bringing them back. They don't have the star indicating that they're low on supplies. So yeah, we'll keep them there. Wait, did the French react? They didn't. They only have an armored cruiser and light cruiser. Well, they have enough points, to, I think, to stop the blockade. No, they don't. That We have 10 and they have 9. So this is so funny. 10 and 9, we actually have the 10% advantage. They're going to have to shift more ships away. And we are just barely holding enough here. But I'm pretty sure that's the entirety of the French fleet. Do they have any other ships anywhere? They do have an armored cruiser there. So they could pull that in. And they have an armor. Okay, armor merchant. I'm not worried about that. Okay. So I think we're okay uh, with our current setup. Just need two more months so we can at least get one more three-point ship out. It's coming down to the strategic strategic points. It's kind of silly that the game is so point... It's a, it, it really feels like a game when you're worrying about the strategic points of various ships. It does take away from the immersion. Unfortunately, when you have uh, the blockade system implemented as they have, that is what you've kind of forced the player to worry about the points in that way. If it was more organic, if the blockade was a, a like some a result of the enemy declining multiple battles or something like that, it would make more sense. By the way, that was completely off the cuff, but I now think that's a great way to do blockades if an enemy doesn't want to fight you. Um, uh, do we care about the finance minister in order to per just? I think I'm willing to go negative a little bit take the prestige hits just two more months of it okay they sink one of our ships we will accept this again definitely there are battleships here but i'm not i'm still not worried about it and we have both our ships these sh might even be able to take on a battleship depending on which one it is and now i believe since they pulled a battleship back we might have enough points to start invading colonies in the mediterranean not that it happened this turn but let's see what happens this I'm really excited about this battle. I hope to God it's a armored cruiser. I don't care what kind of cruiser it is. Dead calm, almost no wind at all. So we'll just. Oh, uh, this is. I think this is a little armored cruiser and a complement of destroyers. No, looks like it's a light cruiser and a complement of destroyers. Well, pursue anyway. They're gonna head for port. So let's just try to overtake. Dangerous, obviously, that we could be uh, hit by torpedoes, but I mean, this is just as silly. I'm here. It is. I mean, we are given an opportunity. We do have the superior ships. I was been I have been thinking that for a while. How I just want an opportunity where we have the better ships, but they're just running away. So it's it's just as silly. Engagement is just as silly as it was before. Just get us close enough to land a few hits. No. Okay, well, that was pretty silly. <laughs> we did damage to one of their destroyers, apparently. Well, that's all right, that's all right. Um, we are no longer blockading them, it's good to know. So let's move those ships back. I think it's time. They've served their purpose, and now actually their purpose is better served in the Mediterranean, where we want the point advantage in order to start instigating colony invasions and we do have the three to one ratio if we have even one more point fantastic weird i i don't understand this but i guess it is really an estimate because now we're positive on funds 
it's kind of strange where we were negative we were going to be negative um, on funds according to the last projected monthly balance but anyways we should get this ship out we haven't had any steel shortages lately have we uh, the Venetia has been delayed uh, a little bit more. I hate that because it, it, that's essentially that costs us a million. It's very, very costly. But there's nothing we can do about it. So we'll just move on. Okay, so one more. This could be the... Let's cross our fingers for invasion. Also cross our fingers. Austria Hungary is... We are so close to war with them. Cagliari is commissioned. Amazing. Very good. British... Dreadnought, or no, this is pre-war, or, yeah, this is a battleship, pre-war battleship. That's a good one. That's a nice ship. Very light on armor. I would love to take it on, personally. I mean, 8-inch turrets, those are not going to do the British much good. <laughs> Destruction, AP, very good. Enhanced images for penetrating hits, very good. They're still raiding, which is one thing we forgot to do. Unrest is F5. Let's see what it's gone up to next. Enemy raid on coastal shipping. I hate that one more than anything. Raid on enemy coastal shipping. So I can do the raid. It's a fleet battle size. Let's do this. Okay, they declined the battle, which makes sense. Enemy coastal raid. Again, I hate these so much. It's a waste of time. Mm, I think I'm going to have to decline. Battle size large, which means probably it's armored cruiser sized could be fleet sized but i'm going to decline okay so they moved it looks like their fleet back they did well to preempt me no they moved some of their fleet back they have battleship and three armored cruisers yeah they have nothing in france so we will once again move our ships back over to uh to blockade just do this uh i'll do i'll do this song and dance all night if that's what it takes to win the war. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else. Okay, so we should have completely positive stuff going on now that we finished that ship. I don't think we have enough funds to even unhalt one of these, unfortunately. We could accelerate this. It looks like two accelerations does not lead to anything. Does it give us a month, though? It does? No, it does not. Okay, I was, I'm going to do it anyway. Okay, small engagement. There's nobody there. We will decline. A convoy attack. I do like these. Medium battle size means what? Light cruisers for us? Probably. They have armored cruisers. I'm actually going to decline. Well, no, no, no. 130 victory points. That's probably more than we'll lose. However, there's also the opportunity cost. If we accept this, we choose not to accept another battle, which could be more beneficial. I'm okay with the 130 victory points. Okay, that's fine. We did get uh, 260 victory points for the blockade, and that does obviously have more of an impact on um, the unrest as well. So we haven't seen any like complaints from the French. They probably have very low unrest. I think things are going our way, though. I'm like somewhat confident about the way this has gone so far. We don't have any holdings, so to see somebody with a star means we probably have to bring them back home again. 44 to 30. Where are their ships? I don't know where their ships have gone. They have an armored cruiser here. That doesn't matter. Armored cruisers. Yeah, they, they really spread their forces around for what reason? I don't know. Um, da, 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 da. I'm going to... Oh, we lost another month on this one. Another delay. Okay, well, let's resume so we get that one finished sooner rather than later. That monthly balance shouldn't hurt us too much. Ah. Uh, it's a little bit risky. It could be scuttled that we leave this blot out another month. And yeah, because of that, I'm going to have to move her home. So move her to the Mediterranean. The, the good news is the Etna by herself is enough to blockade unless the French move more ships back. Okay, so let's do that. Africanus, darn it. Central firing is very big. We'd have better fire control. We're not going to be able to take advantage of that right now because things are so tight in terms of having enough strategic points. Fleet battle, well there it is. I have to accept. This is what we've been waiting for. Well, we're gonna have to put a quick cut in the video as I 
I think this is going to go on too long, and I don't realize that until far too late, because we have a fleet battle, and it's going to be, well, a big fleet battle. So, we'll put a cut in the video here. The background here is the Giuseppe Garibaldi being sunk by an Austro-Hungarian Austro submarine. Uh, I think this is 1915. So anyway, until the next episode, sorry for the cliffhanger, and I'll try to get the next one up quickly so it's not too bad. <laughs> but until then, thanks for watching, and take care.